Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death, which is a series of permadeath runs. Uh, today's protagonist is no other than Isaac the Reborn, who is trying to make his way in the world after being um, mistreated by Warlock. We find ourselves in White River uh, Watch, we'll then go the coastline and do Valheim the Tower with Elsie the Striker afterwards. As I'm saying all of that, uh, we are getting ready to actually do the dungeon here. Who's there? Yeah, yeah, all oh, fear. Everything's you, good, don't worry. And because everything's so good... Yeah, I, re I already resort to killing blind people nowadays. I need to find a fix for our stamina problem. <laughs> okay, the bear is good at blocking. But so is Khajiit, who has blocked this here like a boss. Karjo, not Khajiit. Well, there we go. Unfortunately, don't have heal others yet. This might be an upgrade. If anyone sneaks up, I will shoulder some of your burden. Good. Orcish gauntlets. Not sure if it's really an upgrade for him. He does no longer have. A lot of healing potions, so I might just give him those. Lead on, friend. Did he take the gloves? No. He just continues to rock his current gloves. Which is fine, I don't mind. Get out of here. We'll send in another bear. Fortunately, we got hit twice. I must say I'm okay with the capabilities of blocking by the bear. I'm less so okay with its absolute inability to just go anywhere. Okay, so far it's a good. Still no permanent solution for this absolute garbage of stamina. I refuse to skill it because I know in the end game I won't need it. I will have plenty of other tools to regain stamina. But for now it's just incredibly painful. I think I'll craft a couple of potions 
for continuous stamina regeneration. Good, there was... Oh yeah, I remember. Cool. So far, so good. Gotta be a bit careful with the buffs. We're still only having five minutes on them. Alright. Come on. Thank you. Good. Well, that was easy enough. Elven Warhammer is no bueno, but wait, we got gauntlets for two-handed uh, weapon fighting. That actually might be okay. Okay, so far so good. Got a fortify stamina again. That might be not too bad. I think I'll create, uh, I'll craft permanent um, stamina regeneration. Still got the crossbow for a few extra hits. I will sell a few items here because we are too heavily loaded and I'll also disenchant a few things plus restart because now we're fighting against Elsie and I don't want to die. See you in a bit. So we got a small interlude before it is <coughs> time for Elsie the Striker which is a Necromancer. Just want to try to see if we can upgrade our loot here. Minor Conjuration, unfortunately, is not an upgrade. All right, but it's still okay. So, back to Elsie, which is our next task. Elsie, the Spiker, and Valheim Towers. That is going to be our exam for today. The one that we need to pass in order to continue with that permadeath run. It's a difficult one to pass. Potentially one of the most difficult areas. Oh, come on, I just want to life leech. Thank you. Yeah, we do have quite a few bandits ranged attackers against us. But our follower is back up. Oh, 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 Elsie is here. Not good. Ha! 
<laughs> nice. Kill move before she could do something. Fantastic. Well, that on the other hand is not so fantastic. I think we're just moving back a bit. Healing up. Too many air, uh, archers and transmute muscles is running out as well so what we're going to do here is reset heal re-engage Mage Armor is soon going to go away as well. I must say the Magicka regeneration starts becoming okay. Our self-healing is still absolutely atrocious, but okay. some reason I always struggle with the guys with daggers. They are so up in your face. I haven't really found a good way for low stamina characters to deal with them. Flip side, they're not dealing a lot of damage, but you are almost guaranteed to take some. Slowly but surely getting 
everybody back up on their feet time to do a really quick uh, loot reno just double checking if any of them happens to have something interesting on them most specifically Elsie as she's typically having the highest level gear Iron Bonnet Armor of Major Stamina. That's not bad. I looted in order to... In order to get that enchantment off. A couple of poisons, that's good as well. You are taking us somewhere... You did fantastic, Charjo. Isaac trades this here, and I tell you what, take a few of these here. Lead on, friend. All right, bring it on. My beer is ready for you. <laughs> the finishing moves this time are on point. On the other hand, every finish uh, finishing move costs a stamina and well, it still remains as so often the challenge with the build. I'm too stingy to put uh, put attributes into it. I know that it would make it easier for the start, but I equally know that if if I do it, I will regret it later. There is a trap here. Because the end goal for this character will definitely will definitely solve his uh, stamina problems. He will have plenty of stamina. Cool. I think we're done. Just up to looting the place and getting everything. Goma can be sold. It's not too bad. I believe we pulled all of the enemies over. Look at that. Nice. That's the Marksman Handbook. Free skill point. And that's a good enchantment, which we are still missing. Cool. Elsie and her gang have been defeated, which is good. And that brings us to the next few locations. I first of all want to hand in the quest, get a new one. There's potentially one more bandit camp that we can do since we've cleared out uh, the rest. But uh, there are also bandit camps in the center here and I definitely need a new sword. So we're going to do a mortal bandit camp down here to get that. And that's potentially going to be what we do next. All right, we are near the location that I mentioned before, and we're going to go down there as well, but we have another bandit camp right here. 
And as you may or may not be able to see, Saigon has upgraded his PC and with that we are now capable of running everything with 120 FPS. Huge uh, improvement of the game quality, at least from the look and feel uh, standpoint. I used it to also install a couple of mods where exactly are these slaughterfish. Oh, we're looking at mob traps. I see. A couple of things have not changed though. We're still very much stamina reliant. Anyways, we got a camp to clear. And I want to see how this new game on gameplay is actually playing in practice. Oh, there is definitely something that is foul here. Kajit again goes in fearlessly. boss down. I need to fix that boss bar. I don't want it to be classical Skyrim style. Now the drain spell is the only damage spell that we've got so far. Waiting for the time when we're actually getting a bit of a better uh, spell. Lots of heavy armor. But n nothing that is really an upgrade. Still another enemy, if my memory serves me well. One of those hand placed from, I think, Ghoul Smasher. Right in there. All right, careful. Should be okay. Nope, nothing. Well, maybe that was already it. Maybe we're. Um, they are going to come when we're looting. Staff of Fury isn't the worst. It's actually a really decent staff. And I think we even have keys to get in here. Yep, we did. I think I've already been here. Or am I missing something? No, 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 that might still be a dungeon. <laughs> now, nah. I've already been here. It's just the lower entrance. Okay, cool. So far, so good. The new setup definitely looks 
uh, and fields uh, much of an improvement we got ourselves a staff of fury which I think I'll be using in the next setup mainly because uh, fury is a great spell and might as well use it so one more camp okay next step in our agenda is Orthheim interesting dungeon with hopefully our uh, swords Then it runs up to his friend. And they completely go bananas. Okay, time to run away. Still a bit under fire, this trickster over there. But I wonder, I wonder. Staff of Fury might come in handy. Is he attacking his friend? The answer could be maybe. Weapons charges are depleted. Well, that's not really helpful, is it? Lightning shackles. We need new charges here. Fortunately, couldn't go all the way there. Can't jump. Oh, hey, Saiken, what the? As always, I'm extra helpful. My companion going down. In all fairness, though, uh, the jump in this direction isn't too easy yeah all right stop your stupid ward his stamina regeneration is so over the top that he can just keep it up We're in a bit of a stalemate here. I don't like where this is going. Did trade in my uh, crossbow, unfortunately. 
so we won't be able to use that but we are definitely able to use everything else He's fast, gotta be careful here. And it's another stalemate. God boy, I think. His stupid uh, shield protected him once more. Leech up with that mud crab. Unbelievable, our stamina is atrocious. Okay, Frost Arcanach, uh, Atronach is down. The other guy has, however, found the staff and is now liberally using it. Summon another frost arc for now. Let me guess. Lightning bolts? Yeah, I figured as much. Good, on the upside we got a staff of lightning bolts, which uh, makes up for a few of the charges that we have used. I used a few more charges than I intended originally, and Let's not talk about my stupidity of trying to cross that river multiple times. Um, yeah. That'll be a little secret between you and me. Done my outfit. Uh, that's not too bad. 160% magical resistance, uh, regeneration. He had lightning bolts as well, so... That... She actually did not steal the lightning bolts or looted it. They just had two staffs of lightning bolts, which... Holy moly, that is a lot. Good. On top of the rest, we got... Um, Irvinan's uh, scimitar, which is why we came here for. And he had an elven th uh, sword of thunderbolts in his offhand. But that's the main weapon I wanted. It's a light, fast weapon that will allow us to hopefully um, deal with our stamina problems a little bit better. Good, weapon groups are fixed. We got this really nice looking sword. All we need to do is loot the dungeon and be done with it. But since most of our buffs are gone... I again need to rebuff. And of course, in the presence of an enemy, that is impossible to get the full mana regeneration.
good. There we go. Oh, look at you. another steel crossbow if we decided to go for it I potentially will pass on it we have a bit of uh, an encumbrance problem overall nice little grand soul gem yeah and I think I mean overall that was really successful got a new one-handed sword one that we can work with Definitely need to make some new food, but I can do that off screen. Cool. So far, so good. Good, good. And the advantage of having a lot of those larger camps and being able to do them is really add up uh, quite a few points. So I would say it's time for a level up again. Chanting 25 makes sense. We don't want to spread ourselves too thin, so we don't we won't be leveling everything everything. But there is a definite advantage in just having a couple of core skills to create uh, to get levels. So alchemy is helpful. Speech could be okay for persuasion checks. And sneak could be okay because well we can't sneak without a perk so even if we're silent let's do the speech and call it a day from there on okay cool so decent we got uh, the bases covered i would say one uh, thing uh, though getting one hand weapon to 25 as well not that we're going to use it much but the skill itself is helpful so health magicka and we're all good so we got two perks and i would want to start perking a few more uh, for a few more other spells. Novice Solution is very helpful. Um, fear is good. Charming Touch isn't bad either. But the more interesting part is Apprentice Illusion with Blur. That's why I wanted to do that. Enraging Orb is good. We've already seen that. Hibernating Touch is a bit too uh, close for my uh, for my taste. Um, invisibility definitely is great, but we're not sneaking a lot. Muffle and invisibility would be for the kind of silent type. I think we're going with Enraging Orb. That's something that I can reasonably use. And with our uh, skills, with our perks here, you can already see that Magicka is growing. So that's quite helpful. Um, I would want to go into Restoration next, but Blur was important just to get that as a permanent buff. 
uh, here we could definitely go in that direction not a bad it's pretty perk intensive I'm not sure if we're going to do it uh, here benefactors insights certainly something that we can do proved healing certainly something that we could do not sure if we need heal four, which would be the reason to go through that enchant uh, enhanced magic. We, we're going to see how many points we're having left over at the end. Um, for now, restoration would be, yeah, it's an important tree, but you can do reasonably well on a mage if you are having the base restoration with a few perks here, uh, here and there. Uh, that is fine. We gotta keep in mind uh, that we would also go into destruction and more heavily into conjuration because we haven't yet gotten uh, into the summoning tree, which would be next. Cool. So far, so good. Um, character is coming along nicely. Let's see what else we want to do. I think one more, maybe one more dungeon as a prep, and then we're off to Bleak Four Barrows. Short interlude for a couple of quests, which we should have done a while ago. Bringing back uh, the. Mammoth uh, task, which I conveniently parked on, on Rashir, uh, Rashar, um, making five. sure that this guy Carlotta leaves Carlotta distinction. alone. I'm sorry. <sighs> Maybe you're right. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. Some parting advice? Very good. Oh, zones load much faster now. Love it. Right through to really? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Okay, easy. We cleared out our um, our quest log, and I think might want to do that middle section here. Might even go all the way up to Forsaken Cave. Good time for a couple of smaller bandit camps. Of curiosity, did I still have that second staff? Oh yeah, we did. Cool. Well, apparently no bandit is here. Good, let me move on. There is one camp really near. Here we go. An entire fortress for us. And there is another bandit cave. Right next to it. By the way, as we're at, the, at it, let's directly get the stamina going. healing potions on the hot key that's why we dip that low pretty sure we just we already cleared it I distinctly remember that we did exactly this camp here with um, who was it oh yeah Hermetheus at the at the very beginning 
spot such a difference. None of the equipment, unfortunately, is an upgrade. Steel armor is nice, but really isn't anything special. I'll get transmute muscles up inside. Alright, careful here, they haven't spotted us out yet. This you will deal the most damage. The rats are sort of helping us. of uh, bottled water. Still not a single upgrade. Okay, so far so good. Let's see how many more charges do we have? One more apparently. lots of food They do have the chance to drop uh, diluted potions. The way that uh, the diluted mechanism uh, works, or the way that experience works in general, is uh, there are different flex, and being indoors inside of a dungeon is one of them. And for each of the flex, uh, the system basically rolls a d100 and double checks if you would get a potion. That's the reason why some enemies have multiples. And those skeevers normally wouldn't drop, but since they are inside of a dungeon, they have a chance of dropping. And I suppose that's F-Tweak simulating that it's more difficult in I indoors than outdoors. Typically much harder to kite. our companion with us? No.
look at that lightning sparks fantastic so essentially our wooden staff of lightning bolts is absolutely empty and lightning sparks on the other hand is well and alive not the greatest staff but certainly deals damage couple of decent potions okay there was still a cell block if I'm not mistaken healing potions but still no upgrade careful here with the traps couple of experience potions from them nothing to write home about but still okay healing potions and quite quite okay loot lots of diluted stuff and here's quote unquote the boss chest okay so that's for Dunstead done. We are still short of uh, one further location, which is down here. So that's going to be next, which is the last location for this episode. Good, we're jumping right into the action, mainly because the enemy couldn't wait to ambush us. got plenty of uh, stats I think the water itself won't fill up our magicka as fast 
yeah not a chance we need more mana regeneration for that anyways we are at uttering hills cave with uttering hills cage which i still wanted to do as the last one and then i think we're okay for this episode it's long enough and we have grinded enough uh, next one we're going to move to draw our content so let's go Good. Time to apply a poison and also time to clean this cave. Getting into the back of them. Not sure why my buffs are so messed up. I do have an idea. For starters, when we're engaging, how about we're taking one of these guys with us? Just trying to a couple of new spells that you guys haven't seen before in Raging Orb. would work as well. So we're now an army of three. That is such a good idea. I wonder why I haven't used that before. Yeah, the race that definitely worked out well in our favor. Nothing of major interest here. I wonder, we just killed the boss, right? the boss got already pulled cool a couple of decent loot items here the boss chest over there bit of a bonus skill point and all I'm missing is the loot of the boss um, Cesargo had killed him
but frankly speaking it's quite hard to distinguish who of these guys should have been the boss here. They all have really really poor equipment I guess. Alright, it is what it is. Let's finish the episode with uh, some more leveling. Going to go for one hand 25 as I mentioned beforehand and now it's time to upgrade the mage skills. Uh, 50 is a huge breakpoint for many of our skills. <coughs> I think we can start with uh, Conjuration. Alteration would come next. But yeah, having the ability to go f uh, deeper into Conjuration certainly would be good. So we got two perks. Mentioned the last time that we're definitely going with um, alteration heals um, with uh, restoration heal self is good arcane ward 2 is fine as well um, enhanced constitution on self could be helpful against poison enemies if we decide to fight them not really needed elsewise gives a good uh, poison resist bonus Sunfire, on the other hand, helps us against Draugr, so there we go. Since we're doing Draugr content and we haven't skilled into Destruction, uh, Restoration for the Draugrs themselves could be helpful. And I am double... Uh, I'm thinking about just the double casting option for Restoration, which most certainly is attractive. On the other hand, we could go into con uh, Conjuration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would reduce uh, the Magicka regeneration debuff uh, that we do have uh, whilst summoning is out. That isn't bad. It would allow us to summon quite a few sp uh, spirits and Atronax later. Mm-hmm. All Conjuration spells can be empowered. I like that. It's potentially what we would want to do. The empowerment uh, that would increase their duration. But also casting costs. But that's fine. I think that's more than fair. And with Cognitive Flexibility we could have additional summoned creatures. Which is something that I think we I would fancy myself having. So no regret move summon us inside into later cognitive flexibility. Which means if we're now summoning there, it will actually stay there for a bit if you look at it. Yeah, it's decent. And that'll give us time to attack from behind uh, th uh, throughout that entire period. Cool. So, we got uh, our level progress. Next up, we are going to Bleakfall Barrows, as uh, that is the natural progression. 
There are quite a few Draugr dungeons actually that I would want to do. Uh, one being Bleak Fall. Uh, one, however, also being uh, the Unearthed questline, uh, which could yield us a good set of boots and progress the questline. Maybe we're starting with that, to be honest. Um, and then there is, of course, the uh, Mage Guild, uh, College of Winter uh, home, where we can uh, use uh, their um, first quest to uh, basically get a few more spells. An amulet that reduces spell costs by 10% flat for every spell, which could be helpful for us. It's effectively increasing our capability of casting spells. So that would be the first few things, but I, I guess we're doing un, uh, unearthed into Bleak for Barrows because that will be the prerequisite of actually getting shouts. And once we do have shouts, uh, we can start the main quest line a bit uh, further. Uh, and at some point we actually should also start the Thieves Guild because that's what I originally uh, set out to do. So one step at a time. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you want to bewitch that uh, like button. Um, it might uh, do something good for you. A lucky charm helps uh, witches and witchers alike. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you the next time. Bye-bye.